Lil Peep was one of the most influential, famous, and groundbreaking artists to come out of the SoundCloud generation. He was a star, and he did it all in just three years, releasing hundreds of songs, a bunch of projects, and playing over a hundred shows. But what a lot of fans don't know is he also got into quite a lot of beef and altercations with plenty of artists. And you may be wondering why. My name is Rishav Bashir, and this is the enemies slash victims of Lil Peep. First is none other than Ski Mask the Slump God, which may seem kind of random, so let me explain. Ski Mask the Slump God was friends with Lil Peep's best friend, Lil Tracy. They even performed a couple shows together alongside X. So when X was in jail, Ski Mask decided, hey, let me go visit Tracy and Peep at their house. At the time, Peep had a house in LA, including Lil Tracy and his entire group. So when Ski Mask went to link up with them, he was living with all of them. And for a while, it seemed like they were having a great time, dropping a song called New World Order together, produced by Ronnie J, and there are videos of them hanging out too, just having a great time. Unfortunately, it wouldn't last. One fateful day, Ski Mask left the house to go hang out with some other friends in LA. But when he came back, the bag that had all his clothes in it had a lot missing. Except Ski didn't notice that any clothes were missing. He only noticed after he had gone on his flight back home. So he couldn't ask Keep in person what happened. Once Ski realized on the flight back home, he was enraged. And in a fit of anger, tweeted, So I supposedly lost my luggage at Peep's house. If y'all see anyone with my Goyard do-rag or clothes, let me know so I can st them. First of all, why would Peep take Ski Mask's do rag, right? Well, he didn't. As I said earlier, there were about 5 to 10 other people living in the house with him, but Ski directed all the heat towards Lil Peep because it was his house. It would later turn out that it was Peep's best friend, Young Goth, who had stolen the clothes. But it was too late. He was already mad. Really mad. But the beef wasn't over yet. After Ski landed, he posted a video condemning Peep and saying some pretty awful things. It's okay. It's okay though. It's okay. Y'all broke. Broke. He also took Peep's name off of the song they made together. Peep never responded to the allegation, which may mean that he felt some sort of guilt as he probably knew one of his friends did steal the clothes. So it was clear that they were on very bad terms. And after that, the beef would stall out for months. But then, all of a sudden, in January of the next year, Peep and Ski Mask linked up with each other at a studio in LA. And they even randomly went live on Instagram in a studio together, which was unfortunately lost. But there is a picture that confirmed it was real. This is where Lil Peep made one of his rarest songs ever called F Donald Trump with Ski Mask, where Peep just screams a bunch. So it was confirmed that they were cool again and had patched up the beef because they wouldn't have been taking pictures or going live together, right? Nope, the beef was reignited once again and it was completely random and out of nowhere, no one really knew why he said this, but it was days before he passed and there were rumors that he was mentally unstable at the time. So in late 2017, 10 days before his passing, Peep randomly decided to tweet at Ski Mask, dissing him, saying, Y'all know Ski Mask is some god, he's homophobic and call me the F slur. He then fired back tweeting, I'm not homophobic, I just don't trust you in the closet and don't say nothing till a year later. I'm Jamaican, I was raised differently. Which probably just meant he was raised conservatively. And Peep's sexuality seemed to be a big talking point throughout a lot of these beefs of his, which he would make sure of, and the beef could have escalated. But of course, as we all know it, 10 days later, Lil Peep would no longer be here with us. However, this beef had a happy ending, I guess you could say. Ski Mask still had a lot of love and respect for Peep because after his passing, he tweeted, I hope Peep resting in peace, his energy will live on, I'll forever remember him, I'm a Beamer boy. Since then, Ski Mask has never spoke down on Peep and just praised him. Um, Lil Peep has been special. Yeah. Lil Peep has been special. I, I knew Lil Peep since um, I got slept at Lil Peep's house. Like me and Lil Peep went through beef, like a lot of shit. Like Lil Peep has been special, Lil Peep has been fire. And I actually think it's really cool that he paid respect to Lil Peep after he passed despite their issues while he was alive. The next enemy or victim of Lil Peep is XXXTentacion. And what's interesting is there wasn't any real beef that occurred while Peep was alive or even while X was alive directly. There was just alleged hatred that would spark a massive controversy after they released their smash hit together falling down posthumously, which sparked allegations by Peep's friends that he hated XXXTentacion. But before all of that happened, XXXTentacion had to know about Peep or else how did he make a song with him, right? He actually spoke on Lil Peep and why he kept his distance from him while Peep was alive, saying so Because, because away. bro, because bro, like here's here's the part, cause Ski had Ski had beef with Lil Peep back in the day. 
mm-hmm. and that's why I, I had never like I never co-signed him I never talked to him I would never do anything with him but we had similar friends we knew similar people and all I would hear was good things about him but due to my loyalty to Ski I would not fuck with bro so X basically said that even though he really liked Peep, he decided to keep his distance out of loyalty to Ski Mask. And X also claimed that he actually felt guilty because he wasn't cool with Peep. And that guilt is why X decided to hop on the remix of Lil Peep's Falling Down. Um, with, with Lil Peep, the reason I felt the need to say something was because I felt a, a form of guilt. I felt not only a form of guilt, and I wanted to, not, the word is not reconcile, but I wanted to... I wanted to fix that. I wanted to fix that feeling in a proper way, not in some clout way, not in some like, okay, how can I, how can I look at this this man's death and apply that to my fan base? Because he never had any actual issues with Pete, just a weird beef that his best friend went through. But this posthumous song brought out a lot of allegations and anger from some of Pete's close friends and fans who claimed Pete didn't like X at all. And this was a really big deal back in 2018. Peep's mother and family actually sided with Peep's friends and were not okay with the song being released. Unfortunately, it was. And Falling Down became one of the most controversial rap songs of all time because they didn't even interact with each other during each other's lifetimes. Fans would later learn Peep didn't even like X. However, while X was alive, he still showed support while also admitting he wasn't cool with Peep, writing, We didn't get along, but man, it hurt to see you pass so early. You deserve to live longer. Rest in peace, little Peep. But it turned out, even if X thought Peep was cool and knew Peep didn't love him or anything, Peep's hatred was pretty deep, at least according to his friends. And there are two very close sources to Lil Peep that each claim opposing takes on whether or not Peep liked X. One named Fishnark, who claimed he hated X and spoke for a lot of Lil Peep's camp, and the other named Fat Nick, who stood alone in his take, but claimed that there were no problems at all between X and Peep. So let's go through both. Fishnark claimed Peep didn't like X at all because of all his horrifying allegations against women, tweeting, also, man, Peep hated XXXTentacion, like he hated all women abusers. He also allegedly hated XXXTentacion because of a hate story he told the Adam22 on No Jumper about doing unspeakable things to a gay man in jail. And of course, Peep did come out as bisexual later in life. So it actually makes sense that Peep would take XXXTentacion's behavior some type of way. As in this video, we've already seen Peep doesn't really like people attacking his sexuality, and it doesn't change later on into this video either. And because of that, Peep decided he would make sure XXXTentacion's name was nowhere near his while he was alive, which is what Peep's friend explained to the public. I heard the Triple X feature because it didn't get made until after he was gone. He explicitly rejected Triple X for his women, spent time and money getting Triple X's songs removed from his Spotify playlist. And this is some pretty serious evidence of Peep intentionally spending time and money of his to make sure he wasn't associated with X, even in a Spotify playlist. Imagine if he knew he was on a song with him, he'd be sick, according to his friend at least. And his friend said that as well, saying Peep would not have been cool with the song. And wouldn't have co-signed that song, don't listen to it. And it was released by people whose sole purpose was to make money off of him, his label and X's camp. It's people trying to make money off of him. And anyone who respects Peep shouldn't listen to the song. He never would have signed up for that. He did not like Triple X Tentation. I know a lot of fans cross over, but this is dead wrong. If you have an ounce of respect for him and the person he was and his politics, ignore it. However, Peep's other friend, Fat Nick, told a completely different story. He claimed that he spoke to Peep right before he passed and that he was down to meet up with X and make music. So Fat Nick, Peep's close friend, decided to set up a meeting with them to fully clear things. Gus? what like friday before he passed in my house we went out the next day to uh bar thing we talked about x right did he disagree with some that um that x did yeah and we talked about it and i was like yo check it we get back off tour because he was like a week left of tour come down because he wanted to go jet skiing work on music and we we're gonna go to london <clears throat> and i was like all right cool come down to the x's house and we'll all talk after hearing this, most fans were like, stop the cat. But to me, this just shows that there was tension and some sort of hatred, and that Fishnark was likely right. Because why would you need a meeting to clear things up if you were cool, right? And he just dismissed Ski Mask days earlier. So why would he go to Ski Mask's best friend's house? That's just weird. But unfortunately, this was true. He passed before it could ever happen, though so we'll never know. Did they actually hate each other? I'm not sure, to be honest. I'll just leave it up to you as a viewer. But at least X and Ski were ultra respectful towards Peep, as they were the same as he was from SoundCloud, and really felt his impact. The next enemy of Peep 
wasn't that way and was actually really disrespectful being black bear peep and black bear were both emo rappers doing their thing and i guess peep thought black bear was stealing his swag so he posted a picture on instagram saying who's your favorite off-brand peep this is mine isn't he cute but it turns out their beef was a lot deeper than just stealing swag it was about a girl too and peep even allegedly dropped a diss track contrary to popular belief there was a decent amount of public beef between them it began when peep would post a picture of him and his new girlfriend and black would comment unfollowed he was really pissed off about this and would dm black bear claiming he was gonna give him the beat saying i don't know who you are but if you got a problem with me let me know because you are acting like a child but you older than me don't get smacked keyword heart emoji black bear poked some fun back saying smacked you like that wouldn't you he then realized this was a moment to win the public over so he made the messages public and said here is at black bear being homophobic in my dms and i'm not gonna lie it's pretty obvious that black bear was making a joke that had nothing to do with the sexuality to be honest so playing that card was a bit lame but it was nowhere near as lame as what black bear would do after but after that Pete made another post on Instagram where he called out Black Bear for being a clone towards the end of Peep's life. And apparently, one of Peep's tracks, Liar, is a diss track against Black Bear. Unfortunately, we don't have any other info from Peep, just from Black Bear after he passed. And from what he did say, it's pretty clear that they did not like each other. They really did not like each other. So this is what he said. And more importantly, this is what's straight up disrespectful about what Black Bear did. Peep had passed and the interview asked a kind of vague, broad question about the state of hip hop. You have thoughts and uh, opinions on the current state of hip hop. I mean, I'd expect him to say, hey, I don't like this trend. I don't like that. But instead, he decided to respond by explaining he had beef with Lil Peep. And this was right after Lil Peep passed as well, which is just weird. I mean, I actually got in a fight with that guy Lil Peep that died yesterday he claimed peep wanted to scrap which was true by the way i got we got he dm'd me being like i want to you kind of thing like last week hmm. and that it was because of a little known woman named bella thorne that black bear had been dating on and off for six years and and it was all because i unfollowed the the girl that he's seeing that that i was seeing on and off for like six years and if that wasn't weird enough he then began dissing peep while he was in the grave claiming peep had hit him up and tried to do a song with him back in 2015. he's like i don't know who you are blah blah, blah. i was like scroll up you said hey to me like in 2015. disrespectful man he would he would come to me acting like he didn't know who i was when he hit me like hey hey 2004 15, sure. 16. But the most disrespectful thing he said was that Peep was the one copying him, not the other way around. But with him gone and now? I, and then I shaved my head a week later, he shaved his head. I dyed my hair pink, he dyed his hair pink a week later. Uh, I break up with Bella Thorne, he's with Bella Thorne the next week. Like, it's like, it was like, <laughs> okay, dude. He then claimed Peep was petty and a weirdo. Which, like, and so he's like, you can, you're gonna get that, you're gonna get that back. And I was like, you would like that, wouldn't you? And then he's like, oh, Black Bear's homophobic. And he like posted it. And then a week later, I was just like, that was all petty. He's gone now. Yeah. And I'm like, damn, that was so petty. Which is ironic because most people would say dissing someone who isn't alive and can't defend themselves is the weirdo and what's really petty. And Black Pear also said he felt bad for Peep's fans. Feel bad for anybody that, for anybody that like looked up, looked up to him and thought that all that was, all that was cool. Like all that, all that like, being messed up and, and yeah. like, like whatever like like that's my only problem with 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 like where some of hip-hop is headed so it was no surprise that this interview got so much hate from Pete fans that it got taken down also black bear is known for his substance issues and mental health issues i mean that's literally what half of his music is about so it was very hypocritical for him to say this and he learned his lesson not to diss Pete because he kept his name out of his mouth forever after that the next enemy of lil peeps was also his best friend lil tracy which may sound like a really weird sentence but let me explain in 2017, Peep was really starting to take off and was seeing enormous growth. He was being touted as an innovator for genre who had brought genres together and pioneered a new sound. However, prior to his massive success, Peep had a collaborator and a group that had helped birth the sound, equally if not more, Lil Tracy and Goth Boy Click. Lil Tracy and Lil Peep, who was the end of Peep's life, had almost 30 songs and during their time working together, definitely impacted music as a whole, especially emo rap. However, despite having a lot of initial success, pretty soon, Peep would get all the public's attention and Tracy wouldn't. For example, he was signed and Tracy was getting shunned by the blogs and media who were giving Peep the credit for the so-called emo revival. For example, 
In a Pitchfork review of Tracy and Peep's song White Wine, editor gave Tracy one line for a song that they had an equal part in in the entire article. In 2017, it just got worse. Peep really started to take off and even though their songs were doing numbers, all the attention was going to Peep. And Tracy started to feel like a sidekick or in his shadow, which he didn't want at all. But here's where Tracy really felt left behind. Peep's team didn't like Tracy. They used to kick Tracy out of Peep's apartment and he would become homeless. The worst part was, Lil Peep would never use his voice to defend him. Eventually, it got too much. Peep would perform their huge songs for shows overseas, but Tracy wouldn't be there. When you go to Germany, you go to space, mm. every show is sold out. Yeah. And you're performing songs that you have with your friends, but no one is there. Mm. We're all back yeah. in LA beating Like, damn, and I wish I was in Germany. Counting up quarters and and so Tracy felt left behind and didn't want to be a sidekick. Never tried to like clear the subject. Like he didn't use his voice. He you just. You know what I'm saying? You call us your brothers. Whatever you call blog. it, blog, post of, and they only talk emo revival. They talking about oh little people is bringing back, blah 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 blah. And they post a song of me and him, but they only talking about him. Mm -hmm. Like bro, you guys. I mean, you have to say something. But said the worst part and most hurtful thing was Peep never used his voice to remedy the awkwardness of the situation. Never tried to like clear the subject. Like he didn't use his voice. He you just. You know what I'm saying? You call us your brothers. Whatever you call it. Like, blog, post of, and they only talk emo revival. They talking about oh little Peep is bringing back. Blah 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 blah. And they post a song of me and him, but they only talking about him. Like mm -hmm. bro, you guys. I mean, you have to say something. Tracy would say some. This is when their beef began. Tracy would say some pretty crazy things to Peep on Twitter and really air him out on an interview. For example, in their Twitter DMs, Peep tried to apologize by saying, You're my favorite human. Every situation I get into, I ask myself, What would Tracy do? It's how I stay true to myself. You're my big brother. I will always love you. Tracy responded by saying, You ain't on shit, little man. I should you. Awful, my dude. But of course, even Tracy still showed him some respect. And Peep too, wishing Tracy a happy birthday. He did say this though. Yeah, tell Tracy so to get a passport. Much. Tell Tracy to get a life. So it was very clear that during Lil Peep's final months, him and Lil Tracy had a pretty serious beef and they did not like each other, especially Tracy. However, he would soon regret this all. When Peep passed, Tracy didn't think it was real. He had seen it on Twitter and they hadn't talked in a month. He found out Peep passed when he was in the studio and he threw up. Of course, he felt horrible and now he has multiple tattoos to pay homage and he celebrates their music. But it doesn't actually end there. There are some other enemies slash victims of Lil Peep that were much smaller beefs, if you would even call it that. One of them is just a straight up victim too. Starting off with Lil Xan. Lil Peep once tweeted, I pooped out Lil Xan. He also mouthed the words of Lil Xan in an interview where they were talking about people he had beef with, jokingly. Of course, he was joking mostly, but he also probably was jealous and resented Xan a little bit, who was much less talented, but had a huge hit with Betrayed. And when Lil Xan made his tribute post to Lil Peep, he actually wrote that Peep didn't like him very much, which uh, makes sense, to be honest. But there was some more serious stuff, and this is the real victim of all of these beefs. It's okay to cry. When Lil Peep was small, he was friends with a SoundCloud rapper named It's Okay to Cry. Cry was pretty big back in the day and a huge fan of Peep, and eventually they did connect through Peep's best friend, Young Goth. Joining a posse, heartbreak club, moving into a house together, and dropping four songs. However, one day, completely out of the blue, Peep and Goth moved to LA without telling It's Okay to Cry and they stole all of his clothes. And the thing about this is it's pretty much confirmed. There is no debate this didn't happen. What happened was, Pry wasn't able to pay his rent after they left him and he became homeless for months. And he'd go on a now deleted tweet spree where he explained this all. They also stole all of his clothes, or most of them. And when I mean they, I mean Young Goth. The final enemy of Peeps was someone Peep never mentioned or cared about, but someone who just dissed him out of nowhere, Russ. Right after Peep passed, he wore a shirt saying, he wore a shirt saying, how much Tic Tacs and grape juice do you have to do before you realize you're a loser? He also went on a tweet storm about abusing substances and recording yourself doing it and therefore publicly glorifying it and how that was a horrible thing to do. 
which was pretty valid to be honest except he posted it a day after Pete passed which is very insensitive and he knew what he was doing however he definitely got his karma as this made Pete fans as well as his friends Fat Nick, Smoke Perp and Lil Pump even Anthony Fantano very 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 mad and created a huge narrative of Russ being a I'll put it this way not a very cool guy and lastly Peep also had beef with Bones and Black Cray for like two seconds so overall Lil Peep was a sweet soul who seemed to try and please everyone which ended up causing problems with others for example with Ski he could have easily threw his friends under the bus but he just took the hate from Ski let me know who you think is like the person who has done the most bad most of these were just beefs but to me it was it's okay to cry because they really did him dirty and lastly shout out to twisted world for allowing me to do this video i highly recommend you check out his channel if you're a big fan of the 2016 to 2017 soundcloud generation thank you for watching see you next time bye